Hey, this is Stephanie Renee, AKA the Ebony Angel. I am here today because over the past few days, people have been impacting my life in ways that I cannot fathom. Ultimately, I, I do a job. For some, it's a career, but for me, it's just a job. I'm not passionate about it. Can I do it? Yes, I could do almost anything I put my mind to. But these people have been in the industry that I've only dreamed about. Of course, I put forth works to accomplish it, but I haven't made it my priority. One man said, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. I understand that. But have you ever considered that sometimes you're putting your eggs in too many baskets and you're so thin in, the, in each area that you'll never prosper in it? So sometimes you can still have all those gifts and talents. But if you're not truly focusing on one thing, none of them can come to pass as far as being successful in it. So I figured it out like this. If you all know me, you all know who I am and what I can do. So I figure let's start working towards my hopes, dreams, desires, and the gift that God has given me. And that's what I'm ultimately going to do. Some people know that one, at one point in my life, I was modeling, doing runway shows, print ads. And some people don't know that I used to do that. And I used to love it. But one thing that I've always enjoyed doing, and it, I, I'll do it for free, that's how much I know that I love it, is helping others. I like to help people overcome their mediocrity. I like to help mediocre people overcome their mediocrity and what does that mean a lot of people may ask so many people have the potential to succeed and excel in life and yet they're complacent why be complacent when God has gifted you the ability to do a certain thing and you allow it to sit on the back of your soul out of fear you can no longer live in fear. If God has given you something, you should know that God has not given you a spirit of fear. So you have to act in faith. And you also have to know faith without works is dead. So if God has given you a gift, use that gift. Whether you like what it is or not, you're gifted to do it. But nine times out of ten, you're going to like what it is you're gifted to do. You may be fearful of it because it's so powerful. And the power that you have with that gift can move mountains. Some people are complacent in where they are in life and you should not be complacent. Complacency will get you killed. That's what I learned in my profession. Complacency will get you killed. But at the end of the day, if it's something that you love to do, and you're gifted to do it, and it's a means of making money, and even if it's not, money will come. Like so many people get caught up in, oh, if I do this, I won't make any money. Well, if it's the gift that God has given you, you're not gonna have to worry about money and what it takes to do this and what it takes to do that. The money will come, your blessings will come. Your blessings will come from the Lord, period, point blank. People are so fearful of what it is they can do. But if you can move mountains, why not move them? If I can move a mountain to get to, to the heavens, why not move the mountain? If I can climb to the top of this mountain and I know that God is gonna give me something, why not do it? I mean, you sit here, you don't pray, you don't thank him. I, I thank God for the little stuff that I have. I'm faithful over the little that I have because I know, I know that he, he can make you ruler over much. People have to understand you have to crawl before you walk. Simple as that. You have to crawl before you walk. You have to. You think stuff was given easy? You think 
in order to be that multi-billionaire, you can just go to sleep? No, you have to work. Money is the motive. Like if you want money, you gotta work for it. Nobody's gonna just hand it to you. And if they hand it to you, it's gonna be some type of contractual agreement that you have to sign to even have that money. And then it's gonna get taxed. And then if you wanna defraud people just to get some money, guess what? There's natural consequences to your actions. You're gonna end up in somebody's federal, federal court, in somebody's federal penitentiary. So, if I work for something, I'm gonna appreciate it that much more. So if you were gifted with some type of gifts or talents, you need to utilize those gifts and talents. You don't know how much you inspire somebody when you meet them. You don't know how you've influenced me or the next man. I don't know how much I'm inspiring you by doing this video. All I know is there are are limitless, limitless possibilities for you and your future. Limitless. But you have to be focused, driven, ambitious. Like, you have to be ambitious. You just can't sit around and say, oh, I'm good. You know, I got this job. I make 40000 a year. I got a nice car. My man do this. My girl do this. You can't do that. You got to be a boss. Like people say, if, I, if you want to take it to the streets, you want to be a boss. And bosses rule stuff. Bosses stay up 24-7 trying to make moves. Bosses trying to see what's the next investment I got. What, what's next? How can I build my empire to the top? I'm going to sit on the throne. Kings, like bosses. Kings, what you want to be? Or you want to just be a peasant? You just want to be at the bottom of the road? Oh, so many people say, oh, I'm a worker. That's fine. We're building empires. That's what we do here. We build empires. So if you don't want to build an empire, then you don't want nothing. Of course, it takes workers. I understand that. It takes workers to even build an empire. But at the same time, you can have your own empire. No, it doesn't have to be grand as the next man's, but it's yours. And when you find that, that, that level of convert and what you've built, what you've worked for, then you good. I have nothing else to say. But if you're in a point where you're wondering, oh, how I'm going to pay this bill, how I'm going to do that, then guess what? You're not ready. But you got to get ready. That's all I'm saying. You have to get ready. You got to make the next step. But at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, all I can say is thank God. Thank him for everything that he's done, whether it's little, whether it's small, it's all big to me because he created me. Simple as that, point blank. You can take it how you want to take it or you cannot take it at all. You cannot even believe in God, but you better believe in something. That's all I got to say. Love, peace, and happiness.